Hi there, my name is Rodan Burt and I'm the Dicker Data New Zealand CSP, Azure and Cloud BDM. During this session we'll discuss how the invoicing for purchasing Microsoft Online Services products via the new Dicker Data Cloud platform is going to work. So a quick recap of the CSP basics. CSP is one of the programs that you can use to purchase the Microsoft Online Services subscription such as Office 365 and Azure. It allows you to retain all of the billing and support relationship with your clients. And if you have any further questions around it, chat to our team on 0800 DD Sales. You can now, with our new portal, place your orders directly from our website. Your licenses will show up directly into your end customer tenant, and that's a real benefit of CSP. A quick cap on the Office 365 CSP invoicing. Dicadata invoices each of these Office 365 accounts separately one month in advance. By default, the billing date is always the first day that you set up the first subscription for your customers. The default billing date will then be the same for all of that customer's future CSP subscriptions. Should the CSP subscriptions be changed, reduced or suspended, a credit note will be raised by Dicadata system for the unused, uh, unused portion of that subscription. All of our invoices are then processed on a day at the end of the day, even if you make multiple changes to your customer throughout that day. Now we'll start to look at some examples. On the 15th of August, Burt's Burgers add a brand new CSP subscription for 10 Enterprise E3 licenses. It's their first ever CSP subscription. That night, the tool generates an invoice for 10 licenses for one month in advance. This covers the period for that user, for those users through to the 14th of September. The billing cycle is then set at the 15th of the month for that customer for all of their subscriptions. No changes are made to Burt's Burgers over the first month, and then on the 15th of September, the system will automatically generate next month's invoice. And this will be, again, for 10 licenses one month in advance, covering the period through to the 14th of October. So then what happens if we increase the subscription? Well, the next month, Burt's Burgers have 10 E3 licenses that they got from last month. They have a billing date of the 15th still. A new user starts on the 1st of October, and we increase the quantity by one. The license is then made available straight within the Dicker Data portal to the Office 365 tenant. And that night, the tool generates a variation invoice. What this does is one additional license with a pro rata through to the next billing date. So one user charged for 14 days. At the next billing date on the 15th of October, the system then automatically generates an invoice for 11 E3 licenses for one month. The following month, Burt's Burgers have decided they need to start using CRM for tracking their clients. What they do is they create the new subscriptions via our website. The licenses are added on the 25th of October this time, and the licenses are again available within minutes to be licensed to all the users. That night, the tool automatically generates a variation invoice. It is for five CRM online professional licenses, prorated through to that billing date of the 15th. In this instance, it's 21 days. So at the next billing date on the 15th of November, the system automatically generates an invoice for 11 E3 licenses and the five CRM Pro licenses for one month in advance. Now what happens if we switch from one subscription to another? Well, this one's a little bit different. The tool will credit and pro rata charge for the two different license types. So on the 3rd of December, the customer is switching from E3 licensing to the new Enterprise E5 licenses. They create the new E5 subscription on the tenant, and then they suspend the E3 ones as well. That night, the tool generates a variation invoice. What it does is it pro rata credits the E3 licenses for the remaining 12 days in that month. It also generates the pro rata invoice for the new E5 licenses for 12 days in advance. At the next billing date on the 15th of December, the system will automatically generate an invoice for the 11 E5 licenses and the five unchanged CRM professional licenses for one month in advance. And that's it for our billing processes. If you need further assistance, you can always reach out to our friendly team on 0800 DD Sales or email the team at sales at dickadata.co.nz. We also have a selection of local Dickadata representatives across Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch who are always happy to help. In the next couple of slides, you'll also see some monthly invoice examples as well as a variation invoice example. As always, feel free to reach out to the team at Dicadata for more assistance. Thank you for listening.